we'll talk about the concept of colitis. All right. So now when you see the, any word, just try to understand the word. Like colitis now, for me, I've gotten to establish that anytime I see itis, I know that it was it, it is inflammation. All right. So colitis is basically like what inflammation of the colon. All right, so talk about the concept of colitis, um, where we get to look at the types, look at the symptoms, look at the causes, the diagnosis, the treatments, the complications that could follow, and every other thing that you need to know about colitis. For definition, colitis is simply inflammation of the colon. All right, so where is the colon in the body? All right, where, uh, if, you re if you go back to your anatomy, you remember all those ascending colon, Transverse colon, descending colon, right? So inflammation of any of these regions is what is known as what colitis. So types of colitis could be ulcerative colitis. We are having a chronic inflammation as inflammation of for a very long time and there's formation of ulcers. Then Crohn's colitis, that's a chronic inflammation. There's um, ulcers and there's bowel damage, right? You have infectious colitis where you're having infections from bacteria, virus or parasites okay they go having ischemic colitis ischemic colitis is when the blood flow to a particular part of the intestine is reduced all right they go having microscopic colitis we are having inflammation but this type of inflammation is only visible when you use what a microscope all right so symptoms if somebody is having an inflammation of the colon these are the different types all right, what would they complain about? The patient to tell you that they are passing out stool and the stool is so watery. They'll complain about abdominal pain. They'll complain about blood in stool. Okay, that's what blood in stool could be melena or hematochesia. Right, melena that means the, the stool is very dark. Why hematochesia? The stool is what bright red and all that. Okay, could be weight loss. They'll complain about weight loss. They'll complain about fatigue. They'll complain about nausea and vomiting right what are the possible causes of inflammation of the colon genetic predisposition abnormal immune response infections like from bacteria virus and parasites ischemia that's basically what reduce blood flow all right medications it could be that the person is currently taking some medications that is making the colon to become um, inflamed, all right, like antibiotics and NSAIDs, right? Diagnosis is what through medical history you, you hear the patient's story, okay? Try to pick up the important things, physical examination, laboratory tests, right? Endoscopy could be useful, and imaging studies could also be useful, all right? So, this is it. See, ulcerative colitis, okay? So, you can see ulcers formed in the large intestine all right and this is because the inflammation has gone on for a very very long time okay treatment use drugs like what aminosalicylates corticosteroids and immunomodulators right then you could use biologics and surgery can also be indicated complications this could lead to what colon cancer lead to osteoporosis lead to arthritis little eye problems, little liver disease, right? That's basically what extra colon, that's like complications outside, all right? That's basically like spread of the infection, right? If there's an infection, right? So lifestyle modification can also be employed to correct this condition, right? When the patient is taking high fiber diet, high fiber diet is like, you are taking food that contains a lot of roughages, okay, like cabbage, vegetables, right? If you want to eat rice, you do salad, you drink a lot of orange, you take the chaff, right? So you just modify your life so that it will make your stool very soft, okay? So that it will help how your stool is basically passing through the colon, all right? Then stress management can be employed, regular exercise can be employed. You should quit smoking, avoid using acids. Okay, so that's it for this word, colitis. All right, so that's it then. Bye for now.